Hey guys, Pink Vision Tarot here. I thought that I'd do just another general reading. As I said, because I am only using my phone, it takes an hour to upload one video. So doing them individually is hard unless I, you know, do it on my laptop. Um, so anyway, general reading for all signs. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking if you are. So, Archangel Michael. Spirit guides and ancestors, what messages do the collective need to know um, for this weekend? What do we need to know for this weekend? Can we have some messages that might just give them some guidance on any questions that they may have? Or maybe you guys can um, put a question in the comment box and I'll try and see if I can pull a card. How about that? So, messages for the collective, what do we need to know? Home life, work life, love life, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Was that the tower card at the bottom of the deck? Change is coming. Foundations crumbling. Um, people. Um, yeah, so interesting. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Um, uh, get my back sorted my back's not great at the moment so someone could have back pain because that just was niggling just as I was holding this card um, foundations cr um, crumbling moving moving work redundancy something happening out of the blue that you didn't even realize could happen um, a house fire so lots of different um, messages for different people uh, an accident of some form maybe at work a workplace accident um, yeah, just something crumbling, a foundation that's not solid crumbling. Obviously, we do know there was an earthquake in Taiwan. Maybe there is another earthquake. Maybe another tall structure um, is weakened from that earthquake and it collapses. Or there is another earthquake throughout that Pacific region. You know, they call that the ring of fire for a reason. So there could be, you know, say Taiwan's here and then we come to Japan and then we go around here to New Zealand. That There could be another um, event happen, guys. Eight of Cups, so maybe walking away from something that is no longer serving us. Uh, this could be lots of different things, work, friends, family, um, home life, just walking away. So there could be a position where you either don't want to, but you have to walk away from something that's not serving you. You might um, have been thinking about it, but not felt that you had the courage to do it. So maybe the universe steps in and, and moves you on, moves you on. Someone could also also be um, deciding to visit Scotland. So someone could decide that they want to go on um, a trip, a walking trip, maybe to, to somewhere like Scotland. Emperor. So a, someone in a position of power, this could be a judge, it could be a lawyer, it could be an election or someone in a, in a position of authority. It could be a father figure, grandfather figure, uh, you know, someone or, or your boss. Or just maybe someone that you're dating that you look up to. So there could be, um, this person could be significant for some reason. Let's pull some more cards um, and find out uh, what that could be. Because it's a little bit too early to say. Um, there could be people um, a moving country because they don't like a political leader. So there could be people that are, are moving on because of a political leader. Um, a political leader also as well, it depends if we get some swords out, there could be an assassination attempt on a political leader. So a, a political leader, an elderly political leader could have an assassination attempt um, put on them or, you know, like a, a hit or an attempt anyway. So Nine of Cups reverse. So Nine of Cups, as we know, is like a wish fulfillment or, or wishes coming true. So there could be something that you really wanted that you didn't get. Um, it's normally for a reason. The universe doesn't give you everything because sometimes not everything's right for you. Um, it could be that it it's not here yet, but it is coming. So don't um, feel disheartened because there could be just a wish of yours or it could be saying that you've got all these wishes, but you're not manifesting them just yet. So why aren't you manifesting them? Is it, um, is it time or you're just not having faith in yourself? 
Maybe you should start journaling and writing things down. You need to give yourself messages or leave yourself messages. Maybe write a list of things you want and put under your pillow. Little things, just to remind yourself, I am worthy. I am worthy. So then this um, becomes upright and your dreams do come true. So I think I'm like before, this is what I do. I'm going to put this upright. So we've got cups, a lot of emotional energy. Um, yeah, there could be travel overseas for some. The hermit, so a lot of reflection for, for others. An investigation just has come up. Um, light being shone on something, someone, something, uh, paperwork. If we get seven of wands, I think paperwork would be involved. Or maybe three of pentacles. That could be maybe an investigation to do with paperwork. So let's just see what's going on. So we have someone in a position of power. We have travel. We have a light being shone upon something. And we have a dream that hasn't been fulfilled or hasn't manifested yet. Maybe you have to walk away from a dream um, only to sort of maybe come back to it in the future. Love is reversed. So it could be a breakup. It could be... Um, I just heard... Gemini, so someone could be breaking up. <coughs> it could be a trip that you take with a partner that doesn't go that well. <coughs> you could break up on that trip. The love is reversed. You know, there could be some issues in a relationship that you're having. Might not be lovers, but it could just be a close relationship that's under strain and under stress. Or there could be an affair that come, becomes uncovered. Nine of Cups reverse. A lot of young energy emotionally unavailable energy in there so you might be having an affair with someone younger maybe there's a cougar um and you're with someone who's not really emotionally available or you're dreaming about someone that's it's unrequited love so there could be unrequited love for some there there could be an older guy that um a gay older man that's got a much younger lover. A much younger lover. He's obviously got a lot of money. This is why he's got a younger lover. Um, death card. So three, four majors already. So death, um, change, transformation, the ending of something that might not be actually benefiting anyone. The Grim Reaper. Um, payback. So karma for some. When you um, do um, toxic things or you're a toxic person, you will always face judgment one day. Even if uh, you don't think you will or even if the person that you've caused pain doesn't think you will, you, you, know, you can't twist the fabric of reality forever without it bouncing back. That's quoting Jordan Peterson. So, um, also, when you sell your soul, like a lot of people do, if we get the star card, it could be, again, something, um, someone in a position of power or someone well-known. When you sell your soul um, for money or fame, there is a price. There's a price to pay. So, there is a white horse here. The Vatican could come up. There could be something to do with the Vatican. Um, Tower Bridge is also coming up in London. So there could be something to do with Tower Bridge in London. There could be a terrorist um, event at the Tower Bridge in London. Paraphont reverse, so another major, so huge amount of stuff happening this weekend, huge amount of stuff. Um, could be this relationship breakup, there could be an announcement of a divorce that you know and sort of knew was coming. People often hide pain, don't they? What do they say, women often? Uh, it takes them seven years to leave a bad marriage. So this could be a marriage ending that sort of comes out of the blue for you, so it could be you don't know it's going to happen. It might be a family member, it could be someone else, but maybe something that's not so traditional or something that could be frowned upon. So this could be this person that has a much younger lover. Mm. The fool, wild, reversed. 
someone being stopped in their tracks, someone trying to flee but being caught, someone in hiding but being caught. Six majors, guys, that's crazy. So a journey that's been delayed, um, maybe an injury while running. Um, maybe a younger lover of someone older comes out and, and tells everyone about the affair that they wanted, the older person wanted to keep secret. And then the Knight of Pentacles. So someone could have been paid money to keep quiet about this affair. Let's have a look and see what else there is. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Cups. So I think there could be a relationship that goes sour here. Could be the same sex. It doesn't have to be. Um, it could just be um, someone who's maybe a lot older and, and then someone a lot younger. And maybe the relationship's frowned upon. But there could be light being shone on that. Hopefully it's not so young that, you know. Um, yeah, King, King of Swords. So let's do some... Might just do some clarifiers. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. Excuse you. So let's do some clarifiers for this. So what's happening in the spread? So let's say um, fire signs. What is in... Um, that just flipped out. Melancholy, so fire signs, this has just flipped out, so someone could be quite depressed. Grim Reapers here, um, someone could be really just low, d depression, bipolar. Could be a female, or could be a mother worrying about a child. So there could be some melancholy for fire signs. Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Um, could be a sister worrying about a brother. So just melancholy, just sadness for fire signs. This could be what this is. This, a breakup could cause sadness. Maybe a toxic sister-in-law. Air signs, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What do we need to know? Priest. So you've got two priests, the Hierophant and, and another priest. So um, it could be a, um, a funeral to go to, or you might just want to go to church. There could be... Um, oh, maybe this is someone getting citizenship as well, air signs. So it could be someone trying to do something um, traditional, like getting citizenship after living somewhere overseas for a long time, or... Um, maybe just um, chatting to someone in the priesthood. Something religious. Maybe something religious. Uh, water signs. Water signs. What do you need to know? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Lover. So you've got two lovers in this deck. So it's definitely a energy of romance. Um, this is upright. So... Maybe a new lover comes in. Maybe an old lover's jealous. But love is in the air. Maybe there's a bit of um, courting happening, like an old-fashioned sense of um, relationship. But there's definitely a breakup somewhere here. Um, so earth signs. Can't, um, air signs. Oh, not air signs. Earth signs. Earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Earth signs. Earth signs. Everything you say, if, if, if it's muddled up, it's for a reason. Earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What do you need to know? Enemy. So there could be... Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, there's foes. So there could be some people out there that um, are not your friend. Uh, they're not... There's no loyalty. So Earth signs, just be wary of people that are enemies. Also, just in general, um, we know that the world's not a safe place. It never has been, but it's even more dangerous now that, you know, 
you have open borders and people coming in without any um, background checks. So um, if you're in the States, if you're in England or if you're in Europe, 100% please, you know, be mindful of your environment. You know, if you're out for a walk or a run or anything, don't have your headphones in. Like, be aware of your environment. That's what I'm getting. Be aware of your environment. Even with the Hierophant, when you look at this, please be aware of your environment. Don't be stupid. Like, don't be naive. Don't be naive. Um, not everyone's genuine, unfortunately. Some people are really, really um, dishonest. And I'd see someone might, you know, and don't drink too much. Don't spend your last dollar on the last drink at the bar. Save it for a taxi ride home. Go in groups. You know, look after your friends. Look after your friends. You know, that's, um, I think, really important to say to someone. Look after your friends. Don't leave them. And, you know, enjoy yourself, but don't get too, don't get too wasted. Because someone could take advantage, basically. So there could be, you know, like a robbery or something. Uh, you know, money can be replaced. Phones can be replaced. But there could be an assault if you're not careful. So just be careful of your environment. Look after yourself. Look after yourself, guys. Turn around. Look behind you if you're on your own. Look behind you. That's all I see. Um... Take care, guys, and I'll do another reading tomorrow.